good morning navin so as discussed in pre learning video today we are going to discuss method so in pre learning i have given introduction to what is method and what are the requirement for writing method and why we are using methods to reuse code that is write once and use in many places for this purpose we are using methods now i am explaining you how to write a program using method so the objective of our java program is to find the sum of two numbers using the concept method so the very first thing is you should define a method in class so see here the entire coding from public int add so this part is called as method and i am explaining you one by one so this line is called as method header method header so the header may have access specifier and return type and the method name and the input requirements otherwise called as parameters or arguments for the methods so in simple terms i will explain you our purpose is to add two numbers so what is the logic for adding two numbers we need a two input requirement that is two numbers and then addition of these two numbers will be stored in final value for example s is equal to m plus n see here this is what we are going to do two numbers m plus n and we are going to add these two values and store it in s so the input requirements are called as parameters or arguments to a function add and it will definitely write on output that is the sum of two numbers and the return type is again int you should specify the written type of output and this is access specifier if you declare your method as public means any class can access your member function okay so how will you start writing method the method should should start with the method header it should have four elements access specifier written type method name and arguments and at last method header will be followed by a set of code this is called as method block so now inside the method i am going to write a logic so i need a variable to store the value of addition, uh, addition of two numbers so that's why i am initialize one variable with zero and this is equal to m plus n m plus n will be received from this arguments and finally i have to return the output value so if you write this written yes which means that so now i just completed the definition of a method so i hope you understand what i have told you in pre learning video method is a block of code will be executed only if you call it only if you call it so that now i have just written the method block alone when a method is called from any class or from a main method it will be invoked it will be invoked and it will execute these statements after executing these statements it will return a final result to the calling function called function sorry to the called function now come to main method see here i have declared three different variables two for input and one for storing the output and i have get input from the user so for example a may be 45 b may be 67 and so whatever the user entering during the execution time will be stored in a and b so two values are got from the user next step is we should create object why we have to create object to access member function or a data members present inside the class to access 
we need an object okay so now i'm creating an object so by using this object see here object one dot i'm calling this function so now only i'm calling this function so when you call this function add of a comma b the compiler will the control of the compiler will go to add it will search for this add function in your program so the code will now go to this line add and it will see we also pass the two values 45 and 67 a and b values are passed so this will be invoked here so the value will be now assigned to m and n and it will get into the method block and it will find the sum and the same will be saved in yes now written yes while executing the statement it will return the final result to the called function now who called the main method is called the add function now the result will be available in this line for example 45 plus 67 what is the value 112 so it will be stored in p now the result is stored in p the value is written to the variable p now what is my task i have to display the same on screen so system dot order print and off the sum of two numbers are where the value is stored in p that's all the program is over now i have to define a function i have to invoke a function using function call now compile the program so no error if no error you can see the terminal window so in this terminal window it is asking us to enter the two numbers so i am giving 45 and then 67 67 give enter so the sum of two numbers are 112 so the function is called from the main method and it called the member function using the object created and again the function returned the value to the main function so now the results are displayed in this way the function is working hope now you understand how we have to write method okay next session we'll discuss more on constructors thank you